Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Um, this video I want to make for, uh, for those of you who know what it is to be a targeted individual, then you pretty much understand everything I'm about to tell you. Uh, for those of you who don't, um, I want you to know, basically, let me put it this way, I'm not crazy, um, although I do have some serious uh, residual traumatization effects, post-traumatic disorder, post-traumatic stress disorder, severe depression, anxiety, panic attacks, um, these are things that occurred because of the things I was exposed to, um, which, for those of you who don't know, what happens to most targeted individuals is that they are exposed to a scientific campaign of uh, psychological warfare that includes, um, you know, hallucinogenic and hypnotic drugs, um, possibly implantation, uh, exposure to you know, foreign DNA, exposure to electromagnetic directed energy weapons, exposure to remote neural monitoring, uh, mind control, exposure to technology that can manipulate your emotions, exposure to uh, voice to skull technology, which is uh, basically modulated microwaves that utilize the microwave hearing effect in order to allow someone to hear a vocal or audio signal in their head that nobody else can hear. Um, along with many other things, gang stalking, which is uh, a group of individuals that gets together and follows you everywhere you go and tries to make your life a living hell by bumping into you, knocking stuff over, standing in front of you in line, you know, talking about you. Um, they use all kinds of uh, slander and know innuendo they'll even falsify information they'll claim that they're doing an investigation on you they'll tell people you're a pedophile or that you hate homosexuals or that you're a drug user or that you're clinically insane and that you eat babies and you're from mars whatever it takes to motivate the people around you in your life to think that you're some kind of a lunatic and that you're dangerous and whatever um gang stalking is a very effective technique Anyway, um, basically they run the full gamut of, of techniques and technologies, systems, you know. Uh, we're talking about um, a group of individuals who seem to have an unlimited budget, who seem to not have any fear, well, no, I take that back, who seem to have little fear of being arrested by the authorities or being found out or being caught at what they do um, who seem to be able to go pretty much anywhere um, and do just about anything you know uh, infiltrate almost any situation a job a bank a store a hospital doctor library um, let's see they have access to technology that that most people don't believe exists um, and uh, it seems as though they're working towards a very specific goal uh, those goals may be many there may be many overlapping programs that are testing you know human experimentation programs but it seems like there's a very specific goal in my case uh, one of the main things they seem interested in was creating fear, high levels of fear and stress, uh, whether it was sexual and tension and fear or, you know, just fear itself, any kind of stress, anxiety and fear they were interested in. Um, they used exotic insects, they used, you know, I hate to say it, but it almost, well, I have to say it. As crazy as it makes me sound, it makes me sound. They either wanted us to believe that they were aliens, um, 
gray aliens and other types of aliens and that they had alien technology or uh, there were actually these aliens or possibly both um, there were instances where they showed us what seemed like rubber mannequins of aliens you know across the street on the roof in the window and there were other times where I saw beings and creatures that I, I can't explain um, anyway um, so let me put it this way uh, I, I have a, a strange history myself uh, I was adopted um, when I look at my genetic background my bloodline it turns out that I am related to uh, Mary Weather Lewis of the Lewis and Clark uh, expedition I'm Scottish Irish Italian descent and if you look up some of the people that Meriwether Lewis is related to, I mean, we're talking about the Windsors, we're talking about several queens and kings and princes in France and England and uh, George Washington and, uh, you know, a lot of other people. So I have an interesting genetic bloodline, I guess. Um, I've been tested a full battery of psychological tests. Um, you know, square block, round hole, the, the, the whole thing, full battery of tests at least four times in my life, starting from age four. Um, I was adopted uh, into a, a nice family who I don't believe, uh, I, I don't know, my father was a banker, I don't think he was a spy, but, you know, who knows. Um, highly intelligent, I tested at 90 either 93rd or 97th percentile uh, IQ. Um, my memory is not as good as it used to be. Um, anyway, <clears throat> a lot of people ask, why why you? Why would they choose you to do this to? And that's one of the questions I've asked myself many times. Um, the reasons I just gave you are one. Also, I didn't really have a steady job. Um, I'm one of those people that never, like, marched with society. I was always, like, going my own direction, you know. I mean, I'm uh, very patriotic, but I didn't want to pledge allegiance to the flag when I was a little kid. You know, I was uh, uh, something different about me. I have a attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Um, so I have a history of, of contact with doctors and therapists and um you know so there's a lot of reasons i don't have family i don't have kids i don't have a lot of close friends so i'm one of these people that, that can easily drop dead and not too many people are going to say hey what happened to him uh you know and if they did they're certainly not going to dig into it um I think the same is probably true with my girlfriend, very brilliant, um, interesting linear, lineage. Uh, it also turns out that both of us, when we look back on our lives, like, it, there's been a lot of weird stuff in my life that I couldn't explain, and I always figured, oh, it must be me, I'm just an idiot, and I don't know what's really going on, so, but now that I have learned all of the things that these people can do to you, and all the places in your mind you can go and all of these weird interactions with other beings and you know, not knowing whether that was just hallucination or actual reality. Uh, I'll tell you that story on another video. Um, 